Hello and welcome to your daily energy report. I'm Ben Lapp. SunPower Corporation has partnered with Giulio Barbieri to design and manufacture the new SunPower Carport, meant for the Italian residential market. With this collaboration, Giulio Barbieri will deliver carports based on customer specifications, while SunPower will install and complete the solar carport system. The solar carport will be using 18, 24, or 32 of SunPower's 96 cell high efficiency solar panels. It can also deliver approximately 5.9 kilowatts to 10.5 kilowatts of solar power. Canadian Solar has passed the OHSAS 18001 and an international standard for occupational health and safety management. This standard aims to help organizations control occupational health and safety risks. The compliance requirements for this standard is important in markets around the world. Thus, Canadian Solar is so happy that they are now certified. They will be joining the ranks of other solar companies, mostly from Europe, to have this prestigious distinction. Beginning May 3rd of 2012, customers interested in installing a solar-powered photovoltaic system can apply for a 2012 incentive funding. FPNL will offer about $15.5 million worth of PV solar rebates on a first-come, first-served basis for residential and business customers. This rebate program is funded by the Florida Public Service Commission and aims to help reduce energy consumption and peak demand. And Pacific Gas and Electric will be offering a new clean energy program called the Green Option that will give electric customers an opportunity to support 100% renewable energy. Currently, PG&E is already one of the largest suppliers of renewable energy in the country with more than 50% of its electricity coming from sources that are renewable or free of greenhouse gas emissions. The cities of Berkeley, Carmel, Davis, Hayward, Napa, and San Jose will be supporting the proposed program and will be collaborating with the utility to make the program a success. And finally, one of the blades in Unit 1 main turbine at PPL's Susquehannaculier power plant in Pennsylvania revealed cracks. Thus, PPL will replace one row of blades on the Unit 1 turbine during the current refueling and maintenance outage. It will also shut down and inspect the Unit 2 reactor for any damage after Unit, unit 1 resumes operating. PPL's main objective is to always operate the plant safely and reliably for the long term and these, play, these pa planned shutdowns and maintenances is in line with PPL's safety driven approach to operating the plant. That's your daily energy report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.